everybody, it's Emma. So today, starting off my back to school series, I'm going to be showing you middle school makeup looks for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. And the first one is a 6th grade, obviously. I just noticed that a lot of girls in 6th grade naturally have really beautiful and pretty skin and don't need a lot of face makeup to cover that up. So what I feel is important is just putting on a moisturizer to keep your skin nice and fresh and moisturized so it's not all flaky and gross. So I'm going to be using a moisturizer from Clean and Clear. And this is my face when I see girls with tons of mascara in 6th grade. You want a natural and beautiful look. So this is the Clump Crusher Mascara by CoverGirl. And as you can see, with just one coat, it just makes your lashes have a very big difference but not too dramatic. So I'm just applying that on both my eyelashes just with one coat. And that is the finished mascara. Now moving on to the lips. I know when I was in sixth grade, lip gloss made me feel like a million bucks. So this one is from e.l.f. and it's only a dollar. And it's in the shade Baby Lips. I'm just going to be applying a light coat of this onto my lips to make your finish look complete. And that is it for the sixth grade makeup. So now moving on to makeup for seventh grade. This is the year where pimples start popping up, ladies. And as you can see, concealer will be your product sent from heaven. So I'm just taking this one by Maybelline and applying this under my eyes and on my nose and on any pimples that I have. And then just blend it out with your fingers a little bit and then take a brush later on and blend that out because you don't want any harsh lines. And especially since you're younger, you don't want to have like makeup that's obviously on your face because that just doesn't look natural and we're definitely going for the more natural look. Now I'm going to be using a powder because anytime you have a liquid makeup on your face, you need to set it with a powder because it definitely will get oily. So I'm just putting that on the areas that I put my concealer. Now I'm applying a little bit more mascara added on to the mascara from the 6th grade makeup. And I feel like as you get older, you can just apply a little bit more coats to make it a more dramatic look. So that is what I'm doing here. Now for the lip color, this is a tinted chapstick. It's by Baby Lips, so it adds moisture, but it also adds color. So I think it's really great for your 7th grade makeup look. And that is it for this look. Moving on to 8th grade. To add a little bit more coverage to your face, I recommend a BB cream. So I'm just applying this all over my face on my cheeks, my chin, my nose, and my forehead. And this will add a little bit more coverage than just a concealer. To blend out the BB cream, I'm using a beauty sponge, and this is by Real Techniques. I love it so much. You just get it wet, and then it allows your application of your foundation, or BB cream, I mean, <laughs> to blend so smoothly and look totally flawless, but natural at the same time, because as I've mentioned a lot throughout this video, you definitely don't want a cakey foundation line kind of look. This BB cream in particular is really oily, so I'm setting that with my powder, and I'm just applying a little bit more than I did for the 7th grade look. Now anytime you add a face makeup, it's going to get rid of all the natural color in your face, so just use a blush to kind of add color and brighten up your face. And this one is from NYX, so I'm just adding this onto my cheekbones to add color and a glowy look to my cheek. Now it's time for the eyes, and I feel like 8th grade is a great year to experiment with eyeshadow. So this is just a cream base, and this adds color, but then also prevents your eyeshadows from smearing throughout the day. So I think this is really important, and it's affordable. So the eyeshadow palette that I'm using is by Wet n Wild, and it's only $3. I'll have all the products linked down below. This is just a really nice, pretty pinky champagne color. And then I'm going to be using a brown color to put into my crease and outer corner. And you don't have to do this if you feel it's too much. You can just do the champagne color. But if you want more definition and a more dramatic look, you can definitely try this out. I know eyeliner is also so fun to experiment with. So I'm just applying a really thin black line onto my upper lash line. This will make my eyelashes look a lot thicker and just make sure overall eye look look a lot more dramatic and older. And then I just applied some more mascara. For the lips, this is a really natural color, but it's not too much, and it's going to stay on the whole day, so it's different than a chapstick. And I think that's good to switch up to when you get into the higher grades in middle school, right before high school. But yeah, I just blended that out a little bit, and it looks super pretty. So that is it for all the looks. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.